We asked Michael Buble 13 quick questions. We expected 13 fast answers. I'm John Bowden from Nailsheet.com. This is a new feature. We're going to start with some of the artists that we interview. We're going to say, get to it. Give us quick answers. Don't think too much. And we did that to Michael Buble. I'm going to ask you a few quick questions. Sure. How uh, fast do I have to answer these questions? You don't have to ask. You can take your time if you I want. I feel like I'm on a game show. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? Uh, becoming a singer. Getting in the entertainment business, yeah. What's your favorite album of all time? You have to pick one. The duets with Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong. Is there an album that you never get sick of that you played? What's, what's the album that you played the most in your life? Uh, Louis Prima, Greatest Hits. Love that. <laughs> what was your childhood like? Unbelievably happy and sheltered. I lived in a really great neighborhood with great kids and, you know, great family. We were all very sheltered. Mm-hmm. You know, when we got into high school, other kids were already smoking, and we'd never even seen cigarettes. Ever have a crush on a celebrity, and who was it? Gosh, who? You know, Jennifer Love Hewitt. I've had a crush on. I like her. What was the most exciting brush you've ever had with with a celebrity? Oh, uh, the best is hanging out with Tom Hanks, having a great conversation, and Don Rickles walking over and saying, "Hey, Michael, you listen to this meathead?" And I said, "Yes, I am." He said, "Well, don't." He talks to beach balls, and then walked away. <laughs> I thought it was great. I mean, he and Tom Hanks was a nice guy too, and it was just so funny. And Don, you know, he just comes up and does that quick, oh, yeah. and then he's gone. What's the best experience you've had so far as a musician? I think singing karaoke with my grandpa. Oh. I think that's the truth. What gives you peace? Just knowing that uh, knowing that my family is healthy and happy. Uh, where do you want to be in 20 years? Alive. Favorite movie of all time? The Princess Bride. You know, it's either, it's one of those love it or hate it movies, though. I find that, too. People either really, really love it or could care less about it. Yeah. I love that. Good luck storming the castle. <laughs> Who's your biggest mentor? Uh, my, my father, my grandpa. They have to be in the same thing. I th- it's, it's grandpa and dad. Two, two guys, if I can be half the men they are, I'm doing a great job. So your grandpa is your dad's father, right? That, that no, side? my grandpa is my mom's father. Oh, okay. Ever have one of those life-changing uh, religious experiences? I have a great relationship with God. Uh, I Even as a, as a young kid, I, I, uh, I prayed every day that I would have a voice. So uh, every day I have an experience. And what scares you? Uh, success and failure, I think. That's it. You Thank didn't, you, man. You, I can't tell you how pleasurable that was. I have to have a cigarette now. It was so damn yeah. good. Oh, what the hell? Sorry, <laughs> man. Sorry, I didn't mean to. For more information on Michael Bublé, go to michaelbublé.com. Of course, we'll have more of our conversation with him coming up next week on this channel. Keep in mind, we also have another channel called Rock History Canada. And, of course, Michael Bublé is Canadian, where we'll have a lot of those clips on that channel as well. There'll be links in the description of this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, share our videos, and comment on them as well. And check out our Facebook page. All the links in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden from Nailsheet.com.